With Generative Fill in Photoshop, you can add new objects to an image by just describing them in a text prompt. Hi, I'm Jan Kabili from Adobe's Learn Team. In this video, I'll show you how to use Firefly-powered Generative Fill in Photoshop to create new content inside an image in just a few seconds. Let's say we want to add a dog on the cozy blanket in front of the fireplace. The first step is to make a selection. The selection will influence the location and the look of the generated results. Sometimes a simple marquee tool or lasso tool works well for this. So in the toolbar, I'm going to select the rectangular marquee tool. Now go to the location where you want the generated content to be located. It's easier to get the location right from the beginning than trying to move generated content later. And now, drag out a horizontal selection that's a little bigger than the dog that you want to generate. This will leave room inside the selection for Photoshop to generate not just the dog, but also some content around the dog to blend it in with the surroundings. Now, go to the contextual taskbar on your canvas. If you don't see your contextual taskbar, go to the window menu at the top of the screen and choose contextual taskbar. In the taskbar, click Generative Fill, and that opens a text box where you can enter a text prompt. This is a description of the content that you want Photoshop to generate. If you know exactly what you want, it's a good idea to be as specific and descriptive as you can in your text prompt. Include words that describe details, style, mood, materials, actions. But if you're not sure what you want, you can start with a simpler text prompt and generate more than once, adding more descriptive words each time as you evaluate your results. I'm going to type cute little white dog with messy fur curled up on blanket. Now click generate in the taskbar and wait a few seconds for Photoshop to generate brand new content based on your text prompt and your selection. Now take a look at the properties panel. There you'll see three thumbnails representing different variations of generated dogs. Click on each one to see what it looks like in the document window and select the one that you like the best. If you don't like any of them, you can generate again. You can do that from here in the properties panel or from over in the taskbar. That one's pretty cute. I like this one and this one too. In the image, notice that Generative Fill matched the new content to the image so that it blends in with its surroundings. The perspective, the shadows, and the highlights look right, which makes everything else in the image look more real. Also notice that there's a new layer in the Layers panel that's named with our text prompt. This is a special generative layer made by Photoshop. It contains the content that was just generated. I'll show you that. Along with a mask based on our selection. And it's a non-destructive layer, so you could come back to it and regenerate new content anytime the same way without changing the rest of the image. Now, let's change gears and say you want to generate something with a more precise shape, like a teapot over here on the mantle, and you want the spout to be on the right and the handle on the left. You'll have more control over the generated results if you make your selection more precise. For example, Here's a selection I made earlier in the shape of a teapot. If you're following along, you could try drawing a shape like this with maybe the lasso tool or with a digital pencil on a tablet. So let's go ahead and enter a text prompt. In the taskbar, I'm going to type ceramic teapot, classic style, and click generate. And you can see that the shape of our selection impacted the shape of the first of the resulting teapots. Let's click on the other options and choose the one we like best. And that's all there is to generating entirely new content in an image using Generative Fill in Photoshop. Congratulations on successfully adding new content to this image. All it basically took was a rough selection, a text prompt, and like magic, You've created new content that blends seamlessly with your image.